Hi everybody, I'm Dale Fredericks. Today I'm going to talk about a pattern that will really help slow your horse down at the canter. Uh, this is something I've been using for quite a while and it's really helped me, you know, to get a horse to, to slow down a little bit in their canter. And what it is, it's a, basically a clover leaf with squared off corners. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start in the middle of the arena here. I'm going to go to the end and then make a left hand turn. Then I'm going to go to the, to the side, to the fence, and make another left hand turn. Then I'm going to get about to the middle, make another left hand turn. Make another left hand turn at the fence, another left hand turn, come back down the middle. This time I'm going to go all the way to the, end of the other end of the arena. I'm going to make another left hand turn, and then another left hand turn. Across the middle of the pin, another left hand turn. And then another left hand turn at the end, down to the middle. And then right here I'll have completed one, one uh, complete pattern. Now I'm gonna keep going with that on a, on a young horse until he starts to get tired. If he wants to go fast, I'm just gonna let him go fast. And until finally he decides on his own to slow down a little bit. And as soon as he slows down, it might take six times going through this pattern, it might take 10. Uh, but as soon as he starts to slow down a little bit, I'll stop him and let him rest for five or 10 minutes. Now, to do it in the right lead, we do everything just in reverse. We're gonna make all right hand turns. We'll go down here, make a turn to the right. Come across, or up to the middle, make another right hand turn, go across, Make another right hand turn. Again, right hand turn. Come across on the end, in the middle. Come all the way down. And turn right again. And another right hand turn. Go across the middle again. Make another right hand turn. Another right hand turn, another one. And back in the middle. And you can stop them anywhere through here, it'll be one, one complete pattern to the right. So you're working on more than just slowing a horse down here, you're also working on straight lines. You're using the whole arena, so if you have a horse that kind of wants to speed up when he's, when he's going the full length of the arena, this will help him on that. And you're also making turns, so you, it's helping to guide your horse also. Uh, if there's anything along the fence that might catch his attention, like these cattle over here, or the, the horse in the corner. Uh, we're just gonna keep on going, act like we don't, like we don't notice them. Um, so, it's a really good pattern. You just have to, don't expect to get it in one day. It might take a long time. Uh, it might take you a month or so, or more. And it's something you can work on throughout the horse's life. Whenever he starts to get a little bit fast, you can just put him back in that pattern and he'll remember it. So I'm gonna get on shorty here. I'm gonna go ahead and do one pattern to the left. Just to show you how the pattern works and what kind of results you can get from doing this. I'm going to get to the center of the pen here. I'm going to get a rein in each hand. And remember, I'm just going to guide him. I'm not going to try to slow him down. I'm going to walk him a little bit. And then I'll start him off in the left hand lead. Make a left hand turn. Another left hand turn. Right there he kind of tried to trot a little bit so I pushed him back up into a canter.
Okay, that makes one complete pattern. And I want to stress, you, you really want to be sure you don't make just big circles. Go straight and then make a corner. Go straight and then make a corner. So your horse, you're teaching him how to guide going straight and then on the corners to, to turn. Uh, you want to use some discretion with this. You don't want to, like today it's over 100 degrees here. You don't want to go run them 20 times around in that pattern and have them tip over on you. You know, so just, if they start to get too tired, maybe just stop and let them rest for a while and then try again. And if you, if you don't get it, if you don't get any improvement in one day, just stop for that day. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to harm your horse. Uh, you also want to think about what's causing your horse to want to go fast. You know, is he just green? Uh, is he kind of a hyper horse? Is there something in his past training that's making him want to go fast? Or something you're doing to him that, that he's on edge about? Is there some distractions? A lot of horses just want to speed up for anything that that might spook them a little bit or or seems out of place to them. So just stick with it and make sure you go in both directions. Make sure you do the right lead also. Like if you, one day if you just do the left lead and you've, you've worked your horse real hard, um, save the right lead for the next day. Just do, go to the right the next day. Like I said, this this exercise has really helped me and I think it will help a lot of you too if you just use some discretion and just hang in there. You know, just let them let them learn to slow down on their own. When they can make their mind their own mind up, it's always better. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.